Welcome back graduate. So today I'm going to show you how to use and set up your quantity breaks. Now this is specifically displayed on the product page just like this and it basically allows customers to buy in bulk and save for a discount. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and install. And so I'm going to show you the functionality. So let's say I want to purchase instead. There's nothing in my I want to buy five for this price off for 5% and it'll be this price. So what I will do is add to cart, but notice how it says, no, discounts will be applied during checkout. So this will reflect add checkout. It won't display on, it won't reflect on the cart, however. But let's just add this to cart. And now I have five and it says at that original price, but remember it's only at checkout it's displayed. Let's just view checkout and it's 64.95. Now when I view checkout, it should come up with the same price, 5% off, and then also 6171, which is price. And that's what you want to see. So let's get right into it. And Three, two, one. Here we go. And what you're going to want to do is go into your theme. So I don't have it on this theme because if I go and preview this theme and I go and click on Studio Brew, you'll see on my product page, I only have this, but I don't have the quantity break so we can apply it to this theme so as always you are going to get a uh, html file right over here and then a uh, rtf file to open up so what i want to do first is open up my html and it's going to look like this so what's going to first tell tell me to do is add the section eg quantity break so that's what i'll do I'm going to go into here, edit code. And I am going to go and close out of those and add a new section. And I'm going to call it EG quantity breaks as a section. And then what I want to do is I want to open up this file right here for the section. It's going to give me this text. I'm just going to copy and paste, copy and paste. The next thing it has me do is, you know, go into my footer in the theme dot liquid. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to go into my theme dot liquid at the layout and you can control, control F for find. And I'm going to the footer. Now I'm going to just go and add the string EG quantity breaks into underneath my footer. So I have a lot of these already, but I'm just going to add them right like that. And I'm going to click save. Now that's basically it. The hard part's over. So what I'm going to want to do is now add the tag quantity break to the products that I want this feature on. So I believe that the studio brew was already tagged. Um, and to make sure you're just going to go into your products here and I'm going to start adding them. So Studio Cold Brew or Studio Brew actually. Scroll down. Sometimes uh, Shopify has this scroll bug. So you just got to refresh a little bit. And you'll notice that the tag is now quantity break. So I'm just copy and pasting that. And then I can add it to another one as well if I want to work on that. So Cold Brew Bottle. So once this loads, I'm just going to add this tag just to kind of show you. What it looks like quantity break now i can either have it on this product or on the other product um, and so this only applies when you add the tag to that specific product so cold brew bottle i'm going to go into my theme editor there's a little um work that you have to set up online store and i'm going to go and click custom and now i'm going to go and just type in cold brew bottle I got the uh, you know stock indicator right over here. If you haven't seen that, check out the video here. Um, got the beautiful swatches here, very very nice. And then I got the shaky add to cart as well, um, and the add to wish list. Right, so right down here I have here, um, and then right right over here it's gonna have this you know discounts will be displayed automatically. I will scroll all the way down to the bottom where I see eg quantity breaks. Um, now I'm just going to add blocks and we have it kind of, you know, where it says 5% off. Um, 
and then you can change it within the blocks here and get buy five discount code five off and now you do have to create the discount code in the back in order to reflect this as well so if the discount code is five percent off then it's buy five and you find and you select the five and you click save the next block i'm going to do is buy 10 and have 10 off and you save so the quantity is going to be 10 get 10 and i'm going to save 10 percent. so these numbers quantity and the discount code do have to be the same and then uh, if i'm going to do 15 and 15. 15 and I'm going to save it. So now I need a 15% and a 10%. Um, so I'm just going to do here and just make sure you have a 15% 15% off, 10% off, a 5%, which is. So I have those. But now. Now it's working. So if I go and view this on Studio Co on Cold Brew Bottle, view this. Get my nice handy dandy calculator here. I'm gonna close, it, clean it out. I'm just gonna refresh again, and I'm gonna go into that product that I tagged for quantity breaks, and it should be right over here. So let's say I want to buy ten of these at fifteen twenty nine. That's gonna be a discount off when I add this to cart let's do the math uh, 15.29 times 10 so I should get this number at checkout let's just add this to cart so it's showing right now this price I'm gonna go and click checkout and once it loads it should show the 152.90 cents and it does 152.91 perfect with the automatic 10 percent off so it is working here is displayed on um, if you have any questions uh, please let me know this kind of works the same as the spin to win with the blocks if you haven't uh, seen that video check it out um, let me know if you have any questions please like subscribe and um, comment if you have any comments down below if you need to email us you can email us um, at support at ecom graduates and we will gladly be able to help you in a and thank you so much and I hope that worked out for you